OK, so this is a coordinates question. And of course, we know that uh, we have an x and a y. Y is always to the sky. And uh, we normally um, uh, have it in alphabetical order. So if you have a coordinate, um, let's say we were going to draw the coordinate q, we would go along in the x direction first and then go up in the y direction. So you always go along and then up or backwards and then down. It's in that order. So your x is your first number in, the, in your brackets, and your y coordinate is the second one. So for example, to get to q, I have to go 2 along the uh, x-axis, and then I have to go up 3. So that means the coordinate for q is 2, 3. OK, and that's the first part. That's the first question. For part b, we're asked to find uh, s. Now, it says we're going to complete the rectangle first. So Let's just have a little think about that, shall we? So if I just uh, draw another quick set of axes, rough sketch, here's my Q. Here's my, I'm going to put in uh, R and S as well. And um, so there's P and there's R. So S must be here to make a rectangle, mustn't it? So um, if we think about it, the, the coordinates of S, well, we've got, we've got the same X coordinate as P, and it's got the same... Uh, y coordinate is R. So uh, S looks like to me that we're going to have to go minus 3 along the x axis and then we're going to have to go down 1, aren't we? So I think it's minus 3, minus 1. Okay, and the last question was asking us to connect the, uh, on, on the line uh, PR, where's the midpoint? So when you have a midpoint question, the thing to do is to write down the coordinates for P and the coordinates for R. Okay, And what we're going to do is we're going to take the average of the X coordinates and the average of the Y coordinates, because that will be the midpoint. So how do we take an average? Well, we add the two numbers together, don't we, and then divide by 2. So we've got minus 3 plus 2, and then I'm going to divide it by 2 to find the average. That's for the x coordinate for the midpoint. So I'm going to use my calculator. So minus 3 plus 2 equals, and then divide that by 2. And it tells me ah, oh, the x coordinate is minus a half. So I'm going to write minus a half. That's my x coordinate. And I'll do the same trick for, for the y coordinate. So I'm going to find the average of 3 and minus 1. I divide it by 2. So I'm going to type into my calculator 3 and uh, minus 1. Then I'll press equals and divide that by 2. And that gives me the average. And that's going to be the y coordinate is 1. OK. So x so uh, is minus a half, y is 1. So the midpoint coordinate is going to be minus a half, one, and that's your answer. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the um, mark scheme. Yeah, we've got the, all B marks, I'm afraid you just have to put the right answer, and they've used a decimal rather than a fraction for part C, but that's exactly the same thing. So if you've written a minus a half, that'll be fine. Okay, and the examiner's report, should give us a little bit of information about uh, how it did uh, people. Okay, so people did very well on part A and part B, and they made some mistakes in part C. So perhaps they didn't use their calculator to work out the average.